Welcome to my channel called Aqua Blue Boutique. Today is not going to be a sewing or embroidery, uh, you know, video type of thing. Most of my channel is about embroidery and sewing, but today I want to be just showing you guys my new sublimation printer. I got the Epson 15,000. Finally found it, I think, a month ago. They have it on the Epson website, so I bought it. And I set this up toward the end of August already, but I'm just about to like edit this video and gonna upload soon so it's already when you guys see this upload it's already been like three weeks since i did this video so here i have my husband helping me and then we're just doing it on my floor and we were watching simply sally if you guys don't know who simply sally is she does tutorial on sublimation and other crafts on her channel and i think i like the way how she um, set up her printer and I got the same exact printer so that's why I'm using her tutorial and I just have hubby watch her tutorial and help me set it up so now hubby just um, getting the ink open open so we um, we bought the Cosmo ink I didn't buy like the generic one that people were suggesting on Amazon I think I see some tutorial that people use those and they have to drink out like the original ink from the bottle of the printers for, for them to be able to fill up the tank. So I didn't want to do that. So I decided to just get the Cosmo ink. And then here I'm just showing a bunch of things I also got along from Amazon. So what I showed there earlier was just the pack of ink that came with the printer, but I'm not using that because I'm gonna convert this to a sublimation. So yeah, so this is the Cosmo ink, how it comes. It comes in a box like that, like the Galaxy box I show you guys. And then now I'm going to show you guys additional stuff that I bought from Amazon, like the Apesa paper and heat gloves so, you know, that I don't get burned. <laughs> and I don't know why I bought the 13 by 19. Um, my heat press does not, it's not that big. It's only 15 by 15, so I don't know how it's going to work. Um, I might have to just use those to print out like those um, block patterns, backgrounds, something like that, so I can sub my own fabric. So the whole idea of sublimation for me is to be able to create fabrics that are unique or fabrics that, you know, I cannot find in Joanna Hobby Lobby or, you know, I can't find anywhere and I need it like a certain print to go with a certain theme that I want to do for a embroidered shirt. So I'm going to be trying to combine um, sublimation with embroidery. So stay, t stay, st stay tuned for that, <laughs> and I will be uh, learning sublimation and showing you guys how you guys can incorporate it with um, your embroidery. So I have like two ideas. I mean, it's probably obvious because you're just gonna sublimate on the fabric. You're just gonna act just like a piece of fabric, like the regular fabric that you guys get from Joanne, and you guys are just gonna use it to um, sublim. I mean, embroider it just the same way. But another way is, um, I'll show you guys another way that I thought of, but I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see in, um, in the near future when I uh, play more with my sublimation, because I just set it up and I've been busy with Etsy lately, so I didn't have the time to play more. So when I have the time to play more and practice some more, and then I'll show you guys like my result and then we can discuss. And then here, um, we already put all the ink in and we already got the printer going. So now my husband was just trying to initialize the, I think that this step is called initializing. So the printer needs to print out like this sheet of paper where it ha I guess it has to make sure like it's printing correctly or something. And then, yeah, we finished that part. Uh, we were just talking some nonsense, so I had to, like, you know, fast forward and mute it. And then here I'm at the computer testing my first print. So when you print out, you need to mirror it, and you can use whatever program you guys have. I have Photoshop, so I'm just using Photoshop. And I am just mirroring it. I think I just flip it. I don't think I could print mirror, so I have to flip it and um, Photoshop. So... I need to learn my print setting because I just was eager to try it out. So 
I just print it straight out. I think like it was a little bit light when I print it out and then when I sublimate, the black writing wasn't like black, black. It was a little bit brownish, grayish. It's not like a dark black. So I think my color weren't vibrating enough. Um, I will show you guys once this part is over, like you guys gonna see me just printing it out and going and grabbing it and then at the end of the video, I'm showing you guys how I sublimate and how they come out. So, Elvia from Top Stitch Creation, she contacted me to send me some sublimation um, shirt that she's offering. But I only want to test it um, since I didn't want to mess up the shirt that she sent me because I want to use it for my kid. So, I'm just going to uh, sublimate on this um, the sample. That she also sent like a sample pack. So these are 65, 35 poly content. And so I'm just testing on the sample swatch that she sent me a pack of. And then I don't know what I'm doing. I just was eager to see how it come out. And this is actually a, the very first time I'm sublimating. So I probably don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna practice more when I designate some time. Just like right now, I'm a little bit um, busy with Etsy and just um, didn't have the time to play yet, but once I start playing and testing things out, I will do video for you guys and share you guys my um, creation, my thoughts about it. And if you guys need to learn about print setting, check out my sis Liz from Coffee Power Home. Um, I asked her about this print setting. Like I think my color wasn't vibrating enough, so yeah, Liz has a video for that. So I have to go back to Liz's video to watch it. And I also saw some video on TikTok and I'm gonna write down all the print setting from TikTok that I found and compared to I'm gonna test out Liz and then I'm gonna test out some some of the one that I see on TikTok. So I'm not really good with sublimation yet, so I'm still like like a newbie, fresh learning from you know, the level zero up, I guess. So it's kinda like how other people are learning embroidery from like no experience and this is me learning sublimation from no experience. I have not sublimated before. I just like that there's a lot of possibility that I can use sublimation with embroidery and also do a sublimation shirt when I don't want to do a completely embroidery shirt, you know. And plus sometimes kids, they don't like embroidery shirt because of if they have like a lot of sensory like if they're just super sensitive and they don't like the texture in the back. Yeah, so I'm gonna be offering those soon once I get the hang of this and I know what I'm doing because I'm not gonna sell anything that I'm not sure of. So at this point, I'm just gonna be playing around and sharing with you guys my findings and my thoughts here on YouTube. And then when I get better, I will probably um, add it to my Etsy shop with the embroidery that I'm doing. So yeah, anyways, I. I hope you guys like this video. That's all I'm gonna say and that's all I want to share today. So if you guys um, are new here, please consider subscribing because this channel is gonna be about embroidering, sewing, and just probably some sublimation here and there. So if you guys wanna keep up to date and wanna know when I go live, then hit that bell notification because once in a while, I'll do like a random live. So if you guys don't put the bill notification, turn on your um, notification on your phone, then you might miss my live. So if you don't want to miss that, uh, put those settings on and also hit the bill notification. And I will try to schedule like, like live, like schedule them instead of go random. But you know, like I'm a mom too, so sometimes I can't really like go on the schedule time. So I have to go sometime like, random so anyway that's all i'm gonna say so you guys take care okay everyone have a blessed day bye